So Nico and I are currently not in the same country, obviously, which kind of sucks because uh, we're both experiencing fatherhood um, at pretty much at the same time, yet, you know, being so far from each other. Um, so I think it's really important to keep in constant communications with your family and, you know, um, the people that you love. And one thing and one way to do that is actually to cook things together. So I sent him a recipe and asked him to prepare a couple of ingredients at home to see if he could keep up um, in terms of my instruction on how to cook a dish. Nico is not the greatest cook, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but it should be pretty funny. You know what? I don't need to check because I know it's correct. Hi, <laughs> Apu. Hi, Edward. I'm sure there's tons of people that are in the same situation as us in a way that which they can't be physically together. Um, you know, it's Father's Day, usually everyone would be at the mall celebrating and it would be something really festive. Things might be a bit quieter this year. Um, so that's why we did this video to try to cheer everyone up um, and keep the Father's Day spirit alive. Because it's my first Father's Day. Um, so I wanted to be special. So Father's Day is something we celebrate together and we're used to hug and kiss each other and normally we celebrate in different places like the malls. Um, this is a different time, we're in a new normal so we can still keep celebrating together at a distance so loving each other from a distance and keep celebrating as a family. So happy Father's Day everyone. So today Nico and I are going to show you a father approved Father's Day dish. So before Nico confuses you, I will show you how simple this dish is to make. Take out your meat, I'm using a rump steak. Make some small cuts on the side. This will make sure that the beef doesn't curl up while cooking. So while everyone is cooking, I will entertain you with some of my favorite dad jokes in the history. So you know my wife is really upset with me because I have no sense of direction. So you know what I did? I packed my stuff and write. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like a ninja joke, it takes a bit longer to, to receive. That goes in between two sheets of parchment paper and is pounded lightly until flat. Joke number two. Do you know that the first French fries were not cooked in France? No? They were cooking grease. <laughs> Don't hate me. Chop up some flat leaf parsley, mix that in with some salt in your breadcrumbs. How do you call someone with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. <laughs> I find them even better when I'm telling them. Take your steak and cover it with some flour, remove the excess, dip it in an egg wash, and then cover it with your breadcrumbs. Make sure to press it down a few times. How do you call a dog that does magic? And labracadabrador. <laughs> I tried to make it with pochi and akita, but it doesn't work. Boil a big pot of water and salt it like the sea. Once boiling, throw in your pasta for about eight minutes. Get a pan hot with about half an inch of oil on medium heat. Cook your steak for about five minutes per side. So you know the price of an apple pie in Bahamas is $2.5 and the price of apple pie in um, Jamaica is $3. Yes, those are the Pie rates of the Caribbeans. <laughs> oh, and that was pretty good, bro. It doesn't get better than that, so it's not take that. While that's cooking, let's make our sauce. In a bowl, mix together some Greek yogurt or sour cream with grated cucumber, some grated garlic, and lemon juice. Once your steak is done, take it out of the pan and rest for about five minutes. In another pan, heat up some olive oil and a crushed piece of garlic. Add in some pine nuts just to get them nice and toasted and throw in your cooked noodles. You can use some of that cooking water just to get that sauce together. Make sure all those flavors are properly mixed and then finish it all off with some Parmesan cheese, some butter, some greens, like arugula or raquette, and a little bit of lemon zest. All we have to do now is slice our schnitzel or milanesa and put it all together. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the dish Nigo has to try to make. It's really simple to put together as long as you follow the steps. Um, and it's just such a flavorful bite. Let's try it. You can cook the beef fully if you want. I kind of like that medium rare flavor and texture. A little bit of my quick little tzatziki. Beautiful clean flavors. Like you want that crust to have enough seasoning to really complement the beef, but not overpower it. And it pairs perfectly with the pasta. Now, let's see if Nico can do it. Okay, I'm done with my recipe video. Now it's time to call Nico and see what he thinks and if he can do it. Okay, it's recording. Yeah, can you hear Dahlia? She's making a lot of noise. <laughs> Dahlia, I'm trying to shoot. <laughs> Why is it so hard to be a dad? Okay. Have you ever made a beef schnitzel before? Sort of, but not that. I know with this many ingredients. Is it <laughs> or the water? Hi, Lapu. This is pretty hot already because you told me to preheat it, idiot. Okay, put the pasta in the water. <laughs> okay, crack the egg into the bowl. When, when you do when you do the, the, the close up of me chopping it, use your hands and your chopping skills, not mine. Next, grab your beef. Yes, it's found it. Grab two plates, grab two plates. Yes, okay, yes, yes. I, 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 I know where you're going, I know where you're going. Under you, under you, the plates are under you. And then the plates are under me. How do you not even know where things are from? Uh, because I only clean the dishes, I don't do the dishes. Take your meat. Yes. And lick it. <laughs> okay. What, so then it's laughing at me? The bowl is so small. Yeah, the bowl is a bit small, but it's okay. <laughs> I think my pasta is almost done, as you can tell. Okay, turn it around. Opa, look at this. Look at this. This may be one of my best dishes recorded ever. See, ever. Ever. Should I check? No, no, no. Wow, that actually doesn't look too bad. Too bad, too bad. It looks like a, like a horse super pro Milanese. It's okay if it's, you, you don't have to check because it's, it's okay if it's medium rare. Yeah, it's okay. It's done. It's done. Huh. You know what? I don't need to check because I know it's correct. Yeah. Okay, so squeeze the juice of half the lemon, mix that with four tablespoons of sour cream, and then grate the cucumber, and then grate the garlic, and then mix everything together. And then you're done. So I need to get another bowl dirty. That's what you're saying. <laughs> like a small bowl. You know, I wanted to be like you at one point. Now is the last thing I want is to be like you. You know, presentation is not that important, eh? Just try to make it look nice. Shh. That doesn't look too bad, actually. That actually looks pretty good. Of course it looks pretty good. Should I put the sauce on the side? <laughs> Don't push the food. Ta-da! Oh. I'm super. <laughs> we have a dog scratching, a baby burping, a wife laughing. Okay, and now? Now you try it. Mmm. <laughs> it's really good. It's actually really good. I'm personally surprised by myself. By myself. If you wonder why I'm the one. Who <laughs> if you wonder why. <laughs> Wait, so then. If you wonder why I'm the one cooking on Father's Day, it's because every day is Mother's Day. I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope to see you all guys soon. <laughs> all you guys soon? <laughs> Stop laughing, dude. I hope to see you all of you soon. No, <laughs> it's so bad. I hope all of you... <laughs> Stop laughing. I hope all of you are safe. I see you all guys soon. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I hope everyone is safe. And I hope to see you all guys soon. <laughs> no, what is